This sounds like a good wholesome family movie. Watch it, Alan. I'm shooting. The Mutilator. The Mutilator is a little-known 80s slasher movie with some of the gnarliest kills in the genre. The story follows college student Ed. When he was a kid, he accidentally killed his mother when cleaning his father's gun collection. Why the hell the guns would be kept loaded, I have no idea. The incident drove his father mad, and the two of them never really had a good relationship after that. I know that's hard to believe. Years have gone by, and Ed and his friends are getting ready for fall break from college. His father asks him to close down the family beach condo, and his friends decide why not spend fall break at the condo. What they don't know is that Ed's dad is planning on killing them one by one. What you have here is your typical 80s slasher movie. It doesn't add anything new to the genre, and it's full of the cliches that you expect in a movie like this. But the thing is, it's a tongue-in-cheek 80s slasher movie. Yeah, it's full of cliches, but it's aware that it's full of cliches. You've got it all. The supporting characters are just cannon fodder there to add to the body count. You have that person that says, we need to split up because it's time for me to go get killed. There's plenty of, that sounded like a scream, I'm gonna go look. The movie is very low budget and the actors aren't the best. But that adds to the fun. Yeah. What if they're still here? Cut it out, Ralph. The movie isn't without merit. The kills are some of the best in the genre. If you're looking for blood, you'll get it here. You get plenty of variety in the kills. <laughs> I also appreciate how the killer is the main character's father. The movie doesn't make it a mystery by putting him in a mask, it just flat out says, hey, daddy's the killer. However, there are a lot of things that make it more of a so bad it's good movie. There's a scene where Ed and his friends are playing blind man's bluff with beer, so it's not a kid's game. It's supposed to be pitch black, but the lighting makes it look like broad daylight. So you have these people pretending to feel around in the dark in this brightly lit room. Don't pretend that you didn't see that. Also, the main girl, Pam, who ends up being our final girl, bothers me. First of all, it bugs me that she's the one who ends up fighting against the killer. It's Ed's father, so it really should have been him who ends up fighting against the killer. It doesn't help that Pam has this I'm better than everyone attitude. She's also too much of a prude. Here's an example. Pam is dating Ed. Now, they've been going out for a while, and she wants to have sex with him, but not until she's ready. Now, that's not the problem. I say good for her. Don't have sex until you're ready. But here's the thing. She goes with Eddie to the beach condo, knowing that the two of them are going to be sharing a bed, and she demands that the two of them sleep in their clothes. Not pajamas, mind you. She demands that her and her boyfriend sleep in the same bed, fully dressed. I know, it's just that, uh-uh. We have a deal, buddy, and I'm holding you to it. I'm not saying you have to fuck him. I'm not saying you have to grope him. I'm not even saying that the two of you should lie naked next to each other. But she is completely comfortable making out with him. If you've been dating somebody for a while, and you're completely open to having sex with that person when you're ready, you should be okay sleeping next to them in your pajamas. Yeah, the movie has its problems, but those problems kind of add to the fun. Plus, I think there's enough good stuff here to make the movie worth your time. But 
I can only recommend it to hardcore slasher fans. If you're not a fan of the genre or you're a more casual viewer of the genre, you're not going to like this one. But slasher fans will have fun with the cliches, the kills, and that this movie just embraces the fact that it's just your typical slasher film. Now let me ask you, what's your favorite one-shot 80s slasher movie? Not one that's part of a franchise, just one that's its own singular movie. This is your buddy Justin, here to remind you that the Grindhouse will never die. That sounded like a scream, I'm gonna go look.